All right, so what I'd like to do is just go over how to write the equation in slope-intercept form. And you have one of these sheets too, right? Yes? OK. So when writing an equation in slope-intercept form, the thing you guys need to be concerned is, what is slope-intercept form? So I'm giving you this, a point, and I'm giving you what the value of m is. And I want you to write it in this format. Now, this is pretty easy. This says m is equal to 2 thirds. So the first thing I do is write in the slope. But to write an equation in slope-intercept form, we've got to find the value of b. So does our original problem tell us what b is? No. The only thing it gives us is this point. Now remember, that's a point on the coordinate grid. So that point represents x and y. right? So what I can do, though, is I can plug 3 in for x and 2 in for y. So I do 2 equals 2 thirds times 3 plus b. See what I did? Now remember, that's really 3 over 1. So when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 over 1 just 2. So you have 2 equal to 2 plus b. Now I subtract 2, and I get 0 equals b. Now do I know what b is, and do I know what m is? Yes? So now I can write the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. Now I know m, and now I know b. y equals 2 thirds x plus 0, or y equals 2 thirds x. Because we don't really need to write plus 0. 